Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I was like, woo, I was like, well, the first thing I'm going to say is about the thing, the Oathbreaker thing, but look at this. The Chosen of Shar, we entered the ruins of what may have been a fortress dedicated to the goddess Shar. Oh, okay. So she, God, she's Shar? I thought Saloon was the one... That was, I don't know. I, like, I can't tell the difference, apparently, between the two. Maybe we should bring out... Dang, maybe we should bring out... Uh, Shadowheart instead of... Gale? I don't think... Uh, I guess... Oh, wait. <laughs> I forgot he's not here. I am, uh, legitimately though, I'm very intrigued at the idea of being an Oathbreaker. Like, over, like I said, I had kind of wanted to be an... Is it me? It's the chest! There's one, that's right, I sent him to the chest. That's what I did. That's what I did. I remember now. Where is... Will, William? And I, I freaking, I, Will and Gale, I get them mixed up for whatever reason. I think it's because they have... Nasty way to go. Suffocating slowly under a ton of rubble. Not a fate I'd personally relish. I question the wisdom of that. Listen, decision, you're beautiful. So be I'll be here in the purple, but I do need to bring. I don't need to, but I would like to bring Shadow Heart. That drow near is going to be on his last gasp unless someone digs him out. Though. Not necessarily our concern, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I should have Shadowheart eat the noble stock. Because it can cure. I only have one noble stock. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road. Especially if there's trouble. I do think I need to level her up. It has been a while. Yeah, she's level three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We are on level six now. A cleric and an oathbreaker paladin <laughs> walk into a bar. I don't know what to give her necessarily, but uh, moderate medium armor seems good, and I have so many. Um, and I think she's only good with light armor. I don't actually know. What if I'm wasting that? She might already have medium because. She can get the medium armor master. Oh, ability improvement's always good, I guess. We'll get her rounded up on maybe dex and wisdom. <sighs> Trickery domain. Right. Whoa. I chose the bloody plum, I think, to dye Shadow Heart's armor in. And while I don't know if it's necessarily her colors, I really like them. Uh, I mean, I think I just changed my color set, but I almost feel like I should change it now with the Oathbreaker, as cheesy as it sounds. The black um, and jade, or the black and summer green as like a, you know, a... a Sort of a, the green with like, and the black, right? Like the lament of the loss, right? Kind of. But also like a, an ex, like not, kind of an acceptance, I guess, maybe? A recognition of the loss, maybe. Um. You know what? Let me, let me look at it. Bloody plum. I want to combine it with my... Ooh. That does look good. I don't know though if I want it for her. Should we try this one? Oh my gosh, I actually really like that a lot. Yeah. We're gonna go with this for now. I do like that look a lot. And I'm gonna keep the bloody plum as pretty, so I'm gonna keep it. I don't, like I said, don't know if it's necessarily Shadow Hearts colors, but it is very nice. 
Okay, so apparently the thing is, right? Where's. Where's Shadowheart? Hmm. Why is. I didn't even know there was a second floor up there! Have a long no, everybody mind. hold. Just everybody and hold the frick finish. still. Wits and blades always sharp. Nobody's up here. I mean, I at the. I get. I guess we have to keep pushing. Um. I mean, uh, this is this is inconvenient. A lot inconvenient. I don't even know Making if there's a way. Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt some. I don't even know if there's a. What is it? Oop. Let's move. If there's a way. She's not moving to get to us, so it makes me think maybe. Another step oh, forward. Oh, will this elevator go up? My face protects me. This way. Yeah. Ooh, uh, uh. Are we being sassy? Oh, okay. Well, um. We can maybe get this door opened. If we take the elevator up and take a Asterion up. Oh, never mind. Okay, how Let's do we get... get, get with it. Is she in an area she is not supposed going. to be? Um... I was thinking she could maybe get in... She can't... She probably couldn't, actually, because the elevator's not up here. How does she get up there? Well, it just kind of looks like we don't have Shadowheart, then, honestly. Your back. Well, at this point, now we're, uh, we're in it. We are in it to win it. Okay. What's in here? Oh, somebody's mad. A hair-growing tonic. I am, I am concerned about this not... Uh, this this making our lives harder here, but have to keep going. Mm. Deep no make, but the design is anything but. What was this fort? Whoever built it, they've let it rot for ages. Oh, we forgot to bring a stair in with this. Shadowheart probably could have told me something, but Shadowheart stuck upstairs. Human, certainly. God, perhaps. I I don't know how to. I must keep going. Like I guess. Uh, I mean I don't want to trigger anything with her. Oh gall. I was like, why are they moving? All right, I'm giving Shadowheart. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. A feather fall. Oh, I had to look at the ground. Oh, okay. Oh, I landed her right in the acid. Rude of me. Rude. Okay, Shadowheart. Now that you're a part of this. We can maybe do something. All right, let's see. Let's see what's uh, what's going on over here. Oh, one of those things. I have something to ask. If you aren't here to inspect the stonework, then get lost. And if you are, well, I doubt you've got anything useful to say. How peculiar. Smooth face, cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. Of. Uh, what luck. Look here, Hoon. I seek fresh eyes. Care to lend yours to a weary mason? You seem nice. Yeah, okay, okay. A suspiciously eager welcome from a Duragar. Ease your suspicions. I've got no mind for slaving. My passion is stone. 
and my god is the chisel. But these learned eyes reach their limits, and so I must humbly request your Okay, so I can't just murder everybody here. Alright, there's nuance to it. Cool. Uh, what are you doing exactly? Peering into cracks and crevices in hope to find history's morsels. Okay. I have come up regrettably short. Now I feel bad. I hope you might see truths where I cannot. So far, the ones I talked to were bad, except maybe that one guy who wasn't all there mentally, and I do feel bad about that. Um, what should I be looking at? The rock. The rubble, all of it, if I may be so bold. I'm surprised you're still... Take a look. Tell me what you see. And be thorough. I'm surprised you're allowed to be here. Investigation. Let's see. I do, I do want to do this. Assess the statue for technique and composition. Okay, not hard. The statue's meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. Two styles, yeah. two eras. The statue was carved from newer stone and erected by latecomers to this ancient fortress. Okay, so a reuse. Anything standing out? I mean, that's probably something he already knew, that there's two different styles. Mm. Oh, I can do all of them. Oh, well, let's perception it. Survey the area for unseen curiosities. Uh, oh, just hang on. No, no, no. I want to do this. This is fun. <gasps> That's right. I have Shadow Heart. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. Oh yay. What? Oh dang it. I'm gonna do it again. I want. I want this. Oh! Well, okay, why are the, the numbers are being weird? I don't know why the numbers are being weird. Several glassy stones stand out in the debris. Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals oh. behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. Whoa! Okay, investigate. All right. I'm just barely getting by. It's like a school quiz or something. Boulders and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor. Many split cleanly in two. Yet some walls remain fully intact. No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed ah. through in an instant. Something big charged through here. Something very big. <laughs> what do you think? I like this guy. See, okay, here's me learning my lesson. You can't just judge everybody with one fell swoop, okay. My paladin's is feeling it. I'm ready to report my observations. Incredible. An entire history risen that's, from dirt and That's debris. what I do for a living! Pichu, <laughs> an ancient city, hewn from the stone by disciples of Shah, later abandoned. Untold centuries later, a new tribe revives it. Fresh walls. Fresh sculptures until a great hell beast charges through, toppling the walls and crushing the people. Ah, that explains the ah. infernal plate ah. I found. Perhaps you might have use of it. You're gonna, that's very expensive stuff. Thanks. But my work has only begun. There is more still to find. I must get to it. Okay, I can't just run around. Well, let's see what you've got. Murdering everybody now. I was planning on clearing out this front area, but now I can't. I cannot. That's all then. 
All right, I like him. He's nice. Class, but this place has me captivated. Why isn't Shadowheart? Those interesting secrets are always lurking just under the surface. Why isn't Shadowheart saying anything? Deep Roth, Calf, Elder Roth. Oh, I need to. Oh no, I do have it on. Okay. Tired. Sleep. Rest, little one. But do not take long. I feel his shadow. Who shadow? What? I heard his name <gasps> whispered. The rock shivers from the sun. The hell beast thing? The Ketheric Thorn. The big thing. Ketheric Thorn. A familiar <gasps> name. Oh, yeah. Halsen mentioned his stronghold deep underground. Now get the person. Yeah, the dark Jessica. Oh! Mm. Mighty elf. Cloaked in darkness, ten masters ago, and ten more. But I remember there was the work and the blood. There was the Thorm's army. There was the Hell Beast that broke them. Hell Beast. The Ketheric Thorm's name faded into stone. Until the near came. Whoa! Yeah, how old are you? I outlived my mother, and her mother's mother, and many mothers beyond. Blessed to see many live, cursed to see many die. You seem quite wise. Kind of hell beast could have destroyed Ketherick's army. I saw tusks and flesh, smelled fire and eggs. It came with the mask men, crashing and smashing. Why aren't you saying anything? That was a long time ago. What does Nier have to do with Ketherick? I know not, so I say. Yet I hear his name again, said by the shadows. I am loving this black, golden, green look. Okay. Do you have anything? Hmm? Oh, are those two still talk. Why do they have, like, little, little, little around their horns? It's like, ooh. Those are the two that I came in with. What's hiding here? A skeleton. What? Dark Justicar armor? Uh, do you want it? You want the Dark Justicar armor? I mean, what she's wearing, I think, is better. But look at her in that. Does look good. No. Why isn't she saying anything? This is very weird. Maybe because she didn't walk into the place with me? And these dark Justicars are, um... As you look at the skeletons... Yeah, yeah, yeah! Realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Okay, okay, okay. Dark Justicar mm, yeah. uniforms. These were shell worshippers. The same as me. And now they're all dead. Uh, whoever killed them made an enemy of a powerful goddess. Whatever killed a bunch of Sharans might still be down here. Just saying. You bring an excellent you bring up an excellent point, my love. Okay, good. These are old skeletons. I'm surprised they weren't looted already and thrown Oh! Interesting. Oh, Dark Jessicar. Journal. Uh, just this year. I don't know. I'm, it looks like Jessicar to me. I know it's forbidden to enter the Inquisitor's chambers, but I could not help myself as Master Catherick not commanded us to use every possible tool to best Shar's rivals. Besides, if Sybil meant to keep the amulet a secret, she would have hidden it better. The amulet has gifted me power and energy and unknown to me. I've never known such might and such cheer. I can barely keep myself from smiling, much to the other's chagrin. Uh... Why are, Why would you write down this? That's like the sounds, I think. It is done, thank the lady. 
I don't think the dark lady. Sybil ripped the amulet from my throat and cast it into the lava, having found me racked by laughter. The madness is lifted, but I do not yet know my penance. Sybil is not known to take pity on thieves. Help the spirit of the amulet. What? Baldur's Gate. Find the lost amulet. It was cast into the lava. Shadowheart suggests we search for answers. No, she didn't. Ooh, scroll of gaseous form. I am full up once more. I might need to go through my inventory. Are you feeding them? Listen, I broke my oath to kill some bad people that I thought were bad, and now maybe I'm questioning you, my judgments. Grab a cane and whip these droogning beasts into shape. I am. That rubble needs clearing, and my patience is hanging on by an ass whisker. I realize not everybody in this area is bad. I need to be speaking with everybody now. I feel like she would be like, you know, like, okay, I will give them one chance. <laughs> You want me to cane these poor beasts? Plus, I was a paladin of nature, so this hurts extra hard. Damn right I do. Getting cramps in my arm, trying to whip the droogin beasts back to work. Now get to the caning, for I thrash you I instead. I am a drow. I'm a drow. I I, 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 I <laughs> like, and I have the uh, absolute thing. Um. Was behind the rubble. You got no need to know, and I got no need to tell. So get to caning or to leaving. Absolutely not. Examine. Sure, I'll examine. Apparently, it's not hard. Yep, we did it! Yay! A slight glint catches your eye. Focus. I have to roll again. Your eye finds the source of the glint. Adamantine. A mote of black metal. Adamantine. Sorry, I'm reading ahead. There's adamantine back there, isn't there? Stuff's no joke. Stronger than steel. Rarer than mithril. It ain't mined. It's made. There's an adamantine forge back there, sure as shitting. Don't get any smart ideas. That forge is clan property. But get the beasts moving and I'll toss some coin your way. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the tip. Once you're dead, I'll have that forge to myself. Droogin' hoon. I'll split you from head to hole. Dee-hee. They have lost it. Put them down. What? Why are they after me? That's not fair. Uh, Wounding Ray, we should try out some of our abilities, maybe. Oh, this is hers, haha. -ha. I won't, I won't hit the Roths until, oh no! What? No, 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 they're gonna kill me. Oh, they're just agitated at everybody, okay. Excuse me! Oh my. Okay, I commanded her prone. I don't know if that'll actually do anything. I can't take much more. Ooh, he, somehow he missed that second swing. Or not? No, no, he didn't. How in the world did he get? Oh my gosh! All right, we got uh, Scratch summoned so that Scratch can pick up Asterion. All right. Dang it! I was trying to keep you alive. I, I, what I want is to be able to take out these Durgar and then um, knock out the Roth, but we'll see if we can do that. Oh, well, thank you. 
You knocked the other woman right out the gate. Okay, let's go into... someone unconscious. I don't really know, um, oh, sorry, I don't really know, um, oh, we don't have enough movement, yay. What should I do? If passive really does anything? Oh. She had magic on hers. I was like, surely, that doesn't always take damage, just sometimes. Okay. I, I feel like I started, sorry, I feel like I started saying several different things and then never finished them. I mean, I was hoping... Okay, we'll turn that off. I just feel like the pat, like the, the knocking them unconscious thing doesn't really do what I want it to ever. Like, I don't I notice. Like, I'm like, okay, they'll be unconscious and then I can wake them up. And... I don't know. Um, talk to them or something, or like they'll they'll stop being so upset. Like the hope, right? Is that like you can knock them out, and then it's like, okay, now are you willing to talk? Kind of. But it hasn't really worked out for me that way. Like you're just supposed to like not kill them, but they just kind of act like they're dead, which is weird. I don't know if this is progressing the story or not. Kinda seems like it is. So this is Shar, not Samoon. Oh! I, okay. So she looks very similar to Saloon, but this headdress is different from Saloon's. Okay, I see. Like it's, it's, uh, it's the symbol that's on the circlet that Shadowheart wears. I feel like if I could have saved those oxen too, they could have said something like, oh yeah, crazy. Like, they would have known something. This crossbow is too well designed to be made by Dwegar. Oh! I sent it to myself, this crossbow. It is too well designed to be made by Dwegar. Sounds, uh, not great, not gonna lie. Like, what about being a Dwegar precludes you from being able to make good stuff, you know? Is that blood? No, never What's mind. What's with the, the violin? On sloth, gluttony, and vice. So commands Laudagar, the taskmaster. Endure, you cry, at, cry it out as your hammer strikes rock. Endure, shout it as your axe splits your enemy's skulls. Endure, holler as your cane strikes your slave's back. Toil is our duty and our blessing. Toil is the re reward we grant our sons and servants. Yet beware the great enemy of toil, the scourge that wounds us and ours, the tanker. It is not only ale that pours forth from it, but indolence, gluttony, and a wandering mind. At the drunkard is a clan's milestone, too heavy to carry, too idle to contribute. Cast him into the dark lake, let him sink to the bottom, and once more call out, endure, endure. Rough, okay, being, uh, being a Durgar seems rough. A lot of money, jeez. Well, let's see, I'm kind of trying to explore this first floor area. Oh, there's a chest over there. I was like, just for this, but, haha. -ha. Keep a blade close. Keep, keep a blade. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. I can't. I tried to mimic it, but I could not. Quick step. Come on, this lockpick. A trap. Oh. Someone doesn't like visitors. Yeah, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Disarm first. I should have used. Oh, I did it! I was like, I should have used guidance, but I just got it. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's disconnected from her, so he doesn't. Oh no! So he doesn't have. Uh, try again. Uh, he only has one inspiration. Okay. I'm glad that I'm glad they let you re-roll on the ones too. 
Ooh, the real Sparky Sparks want more Sparky stuff. Is there anything as beautiful as lightning striking all around you? You hear the spark struck said, letting lightning strike all around them. Oh, wow, this is, oh my gosh. That must be a way out, because that's in Baldur's Gate, technically. It says, anyway. Or maybe we gotta find it here first and then take it to Baldur's Gate. And we have the Adamantine Forge. Well, this keeps making me think. I don't even know where we are in association. Like, now I'm, like, weirded out, because... We are obviously not in the main area, the main area of the Underdark. So maybe I should go do, finish that main area of the Underdark before coming here? I thought that I was just gonna like rescue some deep gnomes, but apparently it's this whole other thing. I mean, obviously after you rescue the deep gnomes, you should be able to go back and tell Thula about it, but. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I don't know, hopefully this one's a decent episode. I'm just kind of running around learning about myself and learning as is usually the case, you can't just run around judging everybody just because they hang out with evil people. Doesn't mean they're evil, question mark? Mm, I don't know about that one, <laughs> but this guy, uh, the stonemason is nice, so I can't just run around clearing all the dark, the dark elves out. Or the dark dwarves. Durga. Durgar. Durgar. Now the name, is, I'm just messing it up. Yeah, I'll have to decide if I'm going to go back or not. This, uh... I mean, a couple of my main quests are in here. Found a way past the rubble. We found a memory shard. So the... Bleh. But I feel... Okay, maybe I should go to the Adamantine Forge behind me on this main floor. No, because that went upstairs. Maybe I should just go upstairs? Hush now. <laughs> um... There's just a lot. There's a lot. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what I want to do. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to all my patrons, including my acorn. acorn. I cannot talk. My acorn tier patrons, Adam and Fane. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it a lot. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your long-term support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel, and who I cannot thank enough. Thank you again, and I hope to see you all in the next one.